The way their newborn son John behaved shocked Harry and Meghan. Their baby was firmly focused on Harry's chest. He grew used to sitting on his dad's chest, pointing up at it, and frequently reaching out to him. Harry and Meghan first found it amusing, but later they made the decision to see a doctor about this behavior. He was astonished to learn what little John had done. Harry was asked to come to the hospital to talk to the doctor about it right away. The doctor advised Harry and Meghan that they needed to go to the hospital right away because the situation may become extremely dangerous. Although the doctor had a suspicion about what was going on, he needed to ask Harry to be sure. Both Meghan and Harry ran to their car. Meghan was in a state of panic what could possibly be wrong with her child. Before now, John had never even been sick enough to need medical attention. And Harry was a fit, youthful father, so what could the doctor possibly have to tell them? But they couldn't deny the signs their baby John was sending. This may be an absolute emergency. The pair were seated by the doctor's assistant when they arrived at the hospital. She assured them that despite the doctor's hectic schedule, he would visit them as soon as he could. Harry began to feel anxious and frightened, and he didn't feel like he had the patience to wait. If he needed medical attention, nobody seemed to be there to provide it for him. Meghan had to soothe Harry when he became more frustrated. Of course, Harry would have none of it. He insisted on seeing the doctor in person. Once he was in the doctor's office, he ignored the assistant and continued into his office. As he attended to another patient, the doctor seemed bewildered when Harry walked in. But he needed answers now. The doctor warned Harry to relax or he wouldn't be able to assist him. The good news is that the other patient overheard what was going on. Since her issue was not immediately life-threatening, she suggested she could return at a later time. Harry's expression showed his extreme concern, and she could sense his anxiety. The doctor then prepared to check Harry over. However, the doctor became pale during the first checkup. He hastily conducted more examinations. Despite his optimism, Harry was beginning to worry that his health wasn't as optimal as he assumed. The doctor asked some basic questions about the couple's lifestyles. The doctor obviously considered their living situation to be crucial information for the examination. Then he asked about Harry's activity habits. The doctor's demeanor shifted drastically after hearing the responses to these questions. He wondered how anybody could even live this way. It seemed like Harry's doctor put all the responsibility for Harry's health on his own lifestyle. But Harry was completely in the dark about what was happening. The five times a week he exercised and the nutritious food he consumed were surely paying off, right? The doctor who didn't let Harry know what was going on, hurried out of the room with the file. The doctor walked around the hospital thinking about Harry's health. How did this guy find himself in this situation? Did he not understand that his lifestyle wasn't as healthy as he thought it was he thought it was he wondered? The doctor left Harry and Meghan alone in the examination room when he went to do more tests. At this point, Harry was beyond irritated. He yelled at the assistant to bring back the doctor. After feeling threatened by Harry's anger, she decided to call for backup. As soon as he could, the doctor returned. Harry settled down and the doctor used the opportunity to examine him more closely. Everything changed when the doctor examined Harry's chest. The doctor stopped dead in his tracks when he realized what he was looking at. The words, this can't be real, echoed in his mind as he expressed his disbelief at his discoveries. He told Megan to quickly enter the room to join in on their conversation. They should both be in the loop about the results of the examination. The doctor inquired about Harry's family history, specifically whether or not anybody else had been unwell and was required to visit the hospital with chest symptoms. Harry's mind drifted to his family. He didn't remember any such incidents happening recently. A thought of someone else, though, sprang into his head after a few minutes. At one point many years ago, one of his aunts had a strange pain in her chest. When she mentioned it to her family, they were all very concerned. However, when she visited the hospital, the physicians were unable to make a diagnosis. Although they couldn't find the reason for the issue, it soon cleared up and didn't seem to be a problem anymore. Until very recently. His aunt had become quite unwell, and she was ultimately hospitalized. She had severe chest pain and needed emergency medical assistance. Before they went to the hospital, she felt pressure on her chest all the time and had to throw up multiple times. She had a few too many drinks the night before, so his uncle assumed she was hungover. However, that wasn't the truth. His aunt stayed in the bathroom for another 15 minutes before calling on her husband for assistance. In a moment, Harry's uncle recognized that Aunt Jennifer was going through something truly awful. He anticipated that she would need to see a doctor because this was no normal hangover. She took a pregnancy test just to be sure. They were worried she could be pregnant and wanted to rule it out. She did the test and then had to wait what seemed like forever. 
She had no idea that the results would be so shocking. The couple was stunned to find out that she was pregnant. They had already made up their minds not to have any more children years before. They had two children already and didn't think that they could take care of another child due to their age and financial difficulties. So they took an extreme step that no parent would take lightly. They ultimately decided that they needed to seek an abortion. They were both in their 40s, so it was best for everyone involved if they didn't go through with having the child. They kept it a secret from their loved ones at first. However, as Harry was explaining all this to the doctor, the physician piped up to ask, Why do I need to know this? What did this pregnancy have to do with Harry's health? In response, the doctor said he was interested in learning as much as possible about his family's medical history, but he stated that his aunt's health issue couldn't be genetic. As a result, they moved on to discuss something else. When Harry went to the doctor, he was questioned about his family's medical history. However, his own medical history wasn't inquired about. Harry couldn't understand the doctor's method of finding information. Years had passed since his parents passed away. The doctor seemed particularly interested in his parents' history, so he inquired about their deaths. But even talking about it to the doctor made Harry's heart sink. The vehicle accident that killed Harry's parents happened many years ago. Harry had been riding in the back seat of the car when his father lost control of the car suddenly. Harry was the only one in the car to make it out alive. The story of his parents' death surprised the doctor, but he still needed to find out more information about Harry's past. He did not want to understate Harry's loss, so as the doctor continued his questioning he made sure to stay calm as not to say the wrong thing. He had more questions about Harry's parents to find out more about their medical histories. His mother's health history checked out well, but his father's had the doctor scratching his head. The doctor knew now that Harry's parents were killed in a car wreck, but he had something on his mind that Harry couldn't even imagine at this point. He needed Harry to take a DNA test to rule out a specific diagnosis, but first he had to find out the right way to bring up the testing to Harry. The doctor simply told Harry that he needed to test his DNA and they began the new examination. He then took Harry's sample to his assistant for testing and as soon as the results came back, the doctor took a look at the results and couldn't believe his eyes. The doctor was correct in his assumption. Harry's DNA did not match that of his father. In all likelihood, Harry was unaware of this. In any case, how was the physician going to break the news? The doctor suddenly had a brilliant idea. It was possible that the doctor could find Harry's biological father on their medical database. If his true father was a patient in the area, he would be listed. So, the assistant checked and returned to the doctor with her findings. When he took a look at them, the doctor gasped and his face went pale. Something like this was completely unexpected for him. The compatibility was 100% with the man on their database. The doctor was taken aback when he discovered the name also matched with Harry's. Additionally, he was obligated to contact the authorities. No way could Harry have known that. The doctor, however, had to take the necessary precautions. The arrival of the cops delayed the doctor's return to Harry. Harry and Meghan's anxiety levels remained high. Just what was happening? It had been nearly an hour since the doctor last spoke to them. When he did return, however, they were in for a shock. As the doctor was entering the office, the cops were just behind him. We must insist that you accompany us, sir, they said to Harry. The experience left Harry feeling like a shell. For what reason did the doctor bring the cops with him? He was completely in the dark. When Harry asked the police what was going on, they said they would explain everything to him at the station. Nearly in tears on the way to the police station, Harry managed to keep it together in the vehicle. First, he spent hours at the hospital and still had no answers about the state of his health, and now he was being taken to the police station in the back of a cop car. Could this day really be any worse? As soon as they reached the police precinct, he was taken to the questioning room. The officers questioned him on his early life, the circumstances surrounding his hospital visit, and his relationship with Megan, who was already at the station waiting for him. However, following those simple inquiries, they became more serious. They asked about Harry's whereabouts after his parents passed away and how well he knew about his parents' lives, particularly his mother's, before he was born. They asked him how long his parents had been together and when they finished up this line of questioning, they brought out some photos. There were pictures his mom had taken of the family and there were other men in the photos. Who were these mysterious individuals? Harry questioned their motivation for wanting to know this. He didn't see the relevance of his mother's death. Harry's temper flared up once again. He refused to accept his situation and insisted on knowing why exactly they were questioning him. Once Harry had aided the police, they said they would explain what had happened. 
When Harry was asked whether he recognized any of the individuals in the images, they were shown again. None of them were familiar to him, he said. The real reason Harry was brought here was then revealed. We have some news for you, Harry the police officer began. He then explained to Harry that his mother had cheated on his father multiple times while they were married and some of these affairs happened around the time Harry was born. He let Harry know then that the man he thought was his father was not really his biological dad. One of the men in the photos was his biological father. But he wasn't exactly a model citizen. The man had a well-deserved reputation for criminal activity. For years they had little luck locating him, but now that they know Harry is his son, they may have a chance. The officers requested that Harry speak to the suspect, and if they did manage to track the father down, they may even be able to learn something about Harry's health issues. Did he have something genetic that was passed down by his father? Maybe that would help the doctor identify the issue. Harry was still frightened by the possibilities. Harry decided to assist the authorities and help them out. He needed to talk to his father the next day. He hoped that he could convince the stranger that he really was his son and maybe get him to open up in the process. When Harry finally approached him, he did so with extreme apprehension. However, that was about to change. Michael was his father's name. He immediately greeted him when he called. When Harry talked to him, he desperately wanted to break the news that he was his son. However, he showed no signs of wanting to talk to Harry, so that opportunity was lost. Now what? How could he get more information now? Harry was instructed by the police to return home. They'd arrive soon to back him up. When Harry heard knocking at the door, he opened it only to find the same old man. So Harry immediately introduced himself as his son. But he didn't expect the man's response. I knew what the elderly guy said. Sobbing, he immediately grabbed Harry in a hug. Michael assured Harry that he had always known his mom was being honest with him. They had a lengthy conversation. In any case, Harry was aware that he needed assistance from him. It was necessary for him to provide the police with the information they sought. Harry was curious as to his line of work and inquired. Shortly later, Michael acknowledged to committing many crimes. At this point, law enforcement officers arrived. Fearful and relieved, Harry reacted with mixed emotions. Michael was arrested, and Harry was applauded for his help. It was his father, yet it didn't feel like he knew him at all. His release to return to the hospital for follow-up tests followed shortly afterwards. Upon Harry's return to the hospital with Megan, the attending physician promptly began his examination. His father, Michael, apparently suffered from a really unusual sickness. The doctor's greatest fear was that Harry might have the same illness. After hours of exams, the doctor could deliver them the news. Harry did not have this ailment, although he had a little lung damage, which was recognized by their baby. With medicine, though, this would not last for long. Thankfully, Harry could be sure that his health wasn't in extreme jeopardy. They were so glad that their baby lead them to this important information. They counted their blessings every day that John was born. Harry's days had been stressful, but he was glad to be able to assist the police and make a positive contribution to society. Not only that, but he learned more about his deceased parents, whom he continued to honor despite the news. Of course, it wasn't the end of the good news. After such a frantic few days, Harry asked to marry Meghan, who had been an incredible support. They took a plane to a faraway island, where they tied the knot and vowed to love one other till the end of time. 